Firstly, I saw a uh, beginning of 2015. It was at a wedding at, uh, I think it was Angel's Garden. And that was in November 2015. To my surprise, I had never seen him. Let me say I was talking. <laughs> I think that's a proper word for every time I would see her and I wouldn't say any word. I started talking with her. That was two days after the wedding. And um, she was very accommodative over the phone. She wasn't rough. So I thought maybe that's a good move. <laughs> um, I actually spoke with her. I asked a lot of things. I introduced myself. She got a picture of me. And then um, I told her who I was. He started talking, I think for about a week or so. Then I decided, ah, let me shoot. I proposed her, firstly over the phone, um, and I got denied. By that time, I had just finished my A-level, and I was not really prepared to be in a relationship, not because I was heartbroken or something. And uh, the boring part of it is that normally the denials they never had any rough uh, intentions. She was just calm, smiling, and she would just tell you, I don't want you. So that on its own would tell me, ah, maybe she's just playing around and buying time. So I thought maybe, ah, no, I can get it anytime soon. By that time, I was not really prepared to love, I think. So it went on. I would propose it almost every day ask her to come to town, I would meet her, you know, drive her home, proposing her, she would deny me, smiling just like that. And it went on and on, I think, for about three months or so. And I was like, ah, this girl, uh, <laughs> I'm thinking of giving up. <laughs> I think he was disappointed. He kept quiet all the way home. And then he dropped me, dropped me off at home. And then he left. So I went home, spoke to my uncle, and I told him, Ma, ah, there's this other girl, so and so, so and so, I have asked her out. His uncle called me, and I said, No. December 2015, actually, did give her pressure, and she told me, ah, Okay, I'm going to accept you after, after 1 January 2016. And I said, ah, Okay, that's fine. So I waited for one January because I knew one January I'm gonna get uh, <laughs> my answer. So around 27 December, I asked, um, I can't wait for one January, it's now three days to go. And she was like, ah, no, my guy, I was joking with you. <laughs> I can't do it. <laughs> I was like, this girl, <laughs> what is she up to? You know, I was very angry, I was very angry. I stopped talking to her for about a week or so. And uh, every time when I stopped talking to her, she wouldn't talk to me, she wouldn't greet me. Each time when I start talking to her, she would talk as if we had been talking all along. So I'll be very confused. What kind of a person is this? I stopped talking to her, you don't talk to me, so you don't have interest. When I start talking to you, you are very accommodative. What exactly, what message are you trying to communicate? So sometimes I would yell because she didn't want to accept my proposal. But I thought the intentions were there. So this other day I proposed here, when we were going home, I was driving her home, she refused. And I went back home. And I told my uncle that I'm going back to work, so I think I need to leave now. But uh, my uncle's wife saw that something was very wrong with me. So she didn't say any word. I took my bags, because normally, I used to leave Blawai around 8 p.m., 10 p.m. in the evening, but that day I left around 5 p.m. And she was like, mm -mm, something is wrong with him. What is it? So she sent me a text message and she said to me, I understand that you and your uncle have tried proposing this lady and she really doesn't want to accept you. But why didn't you give it another try? Maybe she might agree. If he doesn't agree, leave her. If he agrees, then that will be fine. So I was like, ha. I told her, okay, fine, I will give another shot. So I decided to type messages. So those messages, she read them in the morning, 
she didn't answer me. And I said to her, um, every time when I propose, you tell me a couple of reasons. You tell me you are not yet 21, your family won't agree for a relationship. Sometimes you tell me that uh, you are not ready for a relationship. You don't want to, to commit yourself. You tell me a lot of reasons and I've been trying to challenge all those. So what's the real issue behind this? And then she sent me a message and she said, um, one other challenge, you know, I know she was a woman of reasons. <laughs> Every time she had a reason to, to reject me. So she told me, ah, this time around the reason is I might go and uh, study in South Africa. So it would be a very long distance issue and I don't think I cannot copy with that. Then I friendly sent a message to her and I told her, I'm not proposing a university, I'm proposing you. So <laughs> you are not going to be in love school you are going to be in love with me <laughs> so make a decision i don't know if those words may worked magic or if my uncle's wife worked magic but from that very moment she said to me okay it's all right and i asked her what is all right all right meaning you you have now accepted me and she was like yes uh, I couldn't believe myself. <laughs> but honestly, I was not really, really prepared to be in a relationship. I was just saying, let me just see what will happen. And on that day, it was on a, it was on a Thursday. I was supposed to come to Hawaii on a Friday because normally I would come weekends. You know, I couldn't finish the Friday. So I decided to lie and to make that I know I've got a commitment in Hawaii or maybe save some time. I need to rush there and do something. Why? Because I was just happy that finally after almost five, six months, somebody has accepted me. <laughs> and that was um, February 2016. Uh, on the it was on the 12th, yeah, 12th of February 2016. So I said, okay, fine. Now I've been accepted. So I kept that date and I made sure every 12th of February <laughs> I need to celebrate because I worked very hard for that day. <laughs> it's not like I wasn't being played with my words. I was going straight forward, direct. That's no I love you. I want you. But she would plainly tell me I don't want you smiling in your face. When I accepted to be in the relationship, wow, I saw that he was a very nice guy. He was so committed. It was easy to trust him. So in short, I can say Mbo is one loving, kind, sweet, and words can't describe him. <laughs> words can't describe him. He's just someone who's lovable, ever smiling. Mbo, you, you are such a loving somebody, and I'm prepared to walk in the journey of our life with you. And I promise you that I'll always love you. I'll always be there to support you in everything that you need. I'll always and forever love you, my love. For the rest of my life, without you, I'd be lonely. Without you, I'd be weak. I need your love to death to us part. Oh.